is the one of the speedboat companies from uh, the pier at Bangrak on Koh Samui. Here's the ticket office over here. Let's see, we're in good company, ready for the full moon party in a couple of days' time. Here's little Rose. Ready, cab. <laughs> Here's where you buy your tickets. You start at the counter on the right, and then you just move left. The boat number one leaves about 11.50. Okay. Yeah, we have two boats today. Okay, okay. And then you wait over here. Right, they give you these little stickers here. To tell you which speedboat you're on. You're allowed one big bag and one small bag. People tired already. Not even started the party yet. Here's the pier, so it means hopefully we don't get wet feet. Look at that view. Let's go to Kok Pangan for one person. The ticket is 350 baht for speed boat. Right now it's 10 a.m. So happy for time. Look, the water in the beach is very nice. Green. This is a classic time when having a, a rucksack or a backpack is preferable to a wheel along case. Yeah. Okay, now we arrive. Got Panghan. Welcome to Copenhagen Rose. First stop is to get to our hotel, which from the pier to our hotel, which is near the full moon party, is about 10, 11 kilometers. Yeah. We're gonna try and take a shared taxi because the private taxi, obviously at the front, they wanted 800 baht. My own cup, cup and cup. cup. We're going Suncliff Resort, which way? Thank you. Okay, Suncliff Resort, Tame. You need Sun Keep Resort. You have amazing room for us, I hope. Yeah, yeah. Yes, when we check in already, we have to go with the car. Follow him. This is we are alone. Yeah, go with him. <laughs> what happened there? Hi, guys. Welcome to Gok Pangan. This resort, the name. Sun Kif Resort and I want to show you the room. This way we have a deck for working YouTube and we have got TV and come this way when you open the door you can see this is wardrobe and have air. This is the bed for two people is good. Let's try. Yes, not too bad. Not too bad, not soft though. And we have got sofa, can relax. And after you have air and they have the fan for you. Very nice. And coffee and the fish. And the water. We stay here, tea nice. And this is the bath. Toilet and shower is the same room. They have shampoo. Soap. Soap. Let's go and have a look at the view. Yes, let's come here. Oh wow, the view is amazing. You can have nice chair. If you like smoking, you can sit here, drink coffee, and look at that. Ta -ta -ta. That's what you pay your money for, isn't it? So this room was just under 2,000 baht for one night. The reason it's that price, I suspect, is because there's a full moon party here on this island in two nights time. And they have a minimum three night stay policy when it's full moon time. And I'm sure the prices go up as well. This was towards the budget end of what I could find on Agoda and Booking.com. Other places that seem to be in this area, which is basically the full moon area, seem to be more like 4,000 or 5,000 baht for one night. 
so this being 2000 baht for one night seemed like much better value and people said because it's a five minute walk away from the full moon party it means that if you get tired because we're too old now for partying mm. all night you can just come here and relax and you can't hear too much noise whereas the other ones we looked at were right on the beach where the the full moon party goes on all night apparently no breakfast included so we have to eat our own feet looks okay though doesn't it yes it's good because around here i can see the shop restaurant mm. yeah you can walk out so let's just go inside close this door so the air con is still cool come back in yeah it's getting better isn't it they don't clean the room every day they said they only clean it once every two or three days and it's a bit of a resort style so there's quite a bit of like walking to get anywhere apparently there's a swimming pool which is going to be well probably a five minute walk away so it was a struggle with the bags wasn't it but i think it's worthwhile because i don't necessarily want to stay on the beach with a bunch of 18 year olds being drunk and throwing up over my shoes situation here everyone. Look, go Wait, away. What are you going to do? Are you going to kill it? Kill? No, I'm not kill them. Don't let it go under my bag. My bag's there. Go. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> no. You're going to kick it down there? Sorry. Oh. Bye. Right, talk me through what just happened. Kinku come to the room a lot of late. Yeah. When late is touch your hair, yeah. it's make you hurt. Yeah. And are yes. you proud of how strong I was then, yeah? Yes. What did I do? <coughs> I run away. Or what did you do? Free kick, kick free kick, yeah? Yes. Thanks, Rose. Thank you. You husband. saved you saved my life. You're amazing. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure where you're taking me, Rose. Just keep go straight this way and go that one. Yeah. Cat. Oh yeah, nice cat. People say a lot the cat because some Palang live here and mm. bring the cat for stay. But when him leave, him not take the cat. All right, that's nice, isn't it? Island life, Rose. You want to live on an island? Mm, yeah. Maybe not. <laughs> this reminds me. Do you remember when we went to Turkey? Yeah. It was very similar, wasn't it? You have to move your back, go to step. Yeah. I think we're probably in the cheaper type of hotel you can get here so maybe my advice might be spend a bit more money Suncliff Garden Resort reception that way I think low season them cost right the reception sign has just taken me to the toilets before, I think when have a lot of the customers, them can come here for eat, for drink, nice mm. garden. But right now, low season is quiet. Mm. I think ours probably does have one of the best views. Because when I look at these ones over here, they don't have such clear views that we've got. Don't have view too And much. these ones up here certainly don't have the views that we've got. So I think we've probably got one of the nicest spots. I think the downside of that, however, seems to be we get too much sun coming through the glass. Good morning, guys. Today we want to show you some swimming pool in this hotel. And this hotel is a lot of cat. Look at that. It's so cute. <laughs> in Pangan today is cloudy, but I hope it's not rain. Let's come with me. สวัสดีค่ะ Ha. Oh wow, amazing. That's called, I think, the Queen Pier. We're staying in an approximation of something like this. Because that's our view here. And then you've got the pool here. Let me zoom out. Rows there. And over there, that's, I think, cafe. Nice view, sit there, you can see the boats, 
the bees relax, have food, the view is a swimming pool. Mm, nice, isn't it? Well, it's clean enough. I mean, a lot of reviews said be careful the swimming pool's not too clean. Okay, there's a bit of leaves that have blown in, but that's to be expected. You see this? This is people decide the door. Made it into a bench, which is probably why if I sit on it, it will break. I don't think doors were designed for my weight, maybe for small Thai people. <laughs> see that view? Mm. It's amazing. Well, that we're staying in one of those bungalows, aren't we? I think maybe the second one we're staying in. Stay, same we stay, you can come here. We don't have 7 Eleven, but we have Top. You can buy everything inside there if you don't want to eat uh, out in the restaurant. So Top's Daily is the new name for Family Mart because the Top's group, I think, bought out all the Family Marts. Doesn't stop Rose from trying her 7 Eleven loyalty card membership number in Top's though, does it? Yes. And you couldn't figure out why it wasn't working until I explained that it wasn't 7 Eleven. <laughs> show you a lot of the shirt people yeah. sell. I think some bright colours. This sexy one. Yeah. So they have a lot of the restaurants here. This lot is for people buy ticket, go with the boss, go to Samui, Kho Tao, something like that. We are in BT restaurant. This is very nice restaurant. You can come when you stay here. Little breakfast stop for us. Just on the corner. And the most important thing, fan number one, fan number two. Happy with your fans, Rose? Yes, because uh got pangan is don't have air con just open like this. Yeah, we haven't seen it like an air-conditioned coffee shop like Cafe Amazon yet, but we will find one. I think if you want aircon, you just go to massage shop in Bonn. The rest long. <laughs> yeah, there was a jewellery shop just down here that said uh, air conditioned store, and I said, let's just go in there. Don't buy anything, just cool down. Yeah. 7 Elevens are always a good hideaway if you want aircon. Look, you see the 7 there? Yeah. That's always a good place to go. They've got the best air conditioning. And I'm not sure why they have it so icy cold, other than to attract people like me in who then spend 100 or 200 baht. Is what I like. Have restaurant driving around Pangan and sell fruit. Inside is have pad kapao and rice. The rice is not hot because him put in cool box. If you miss UK, you can order this one: avocado and bread. Yeah, the pie is not too much expensive for British people, European. This is my seafood pad kapao. So here's a motorbike repair shop and look they sell gasoline petrol to refill in Hong Tong bottles 50 baht probably get you quite far right now we want to show you nice coffee shop good aircon good Wi-Fi and have food and drink let's go check out shoes off at the door Rose is just setting up for a day of YouTube editing this yes. is your office for the day? Yes. This is my office over here. <laughs> I've got my iced latte ready. Got my fan, got my aircon, got my happy people working. Hello, Sawadika. <laughs> so this is called coffee drinks. There's an outside area here. If you have non-Celtic skin, you could sit outside and enjoy. If you have Celtic skin, then you sit here. How's your drink, Rose? What flavour is it? This is cha kiao. Cha kiao, green tea. Yeah. Okay. Iced green tea, I've never seen mm. that before. Lemon iced green tea is so good. Like that, yeah? Alright, yes. good luck with your work today. Yes, I want to make you too because I not do because so busy. Yeah, I'm going to take your iPhone off you so that you have to work on your computer. Not look at Facebook, not look at Instagram. I think we may have just happened upon the best hotel on Hadrian Beach. 
What do you think, Rose? This is an amazing hotel next to the beach. It's called the Golden Sands. It might be Vanny the Golden Sands. What book are you reading there, Rose? Oh. The Psychology of Money. You're going to learn about that. Yeah, I read that book about a month ago. Very good. So look, you have these little rooms around this pool, and I'm just going to walk you, I'm going to walk you down the pool to see. There's our man here. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Order some drinks, and away you go. come to Hadrian <laughs> this is where you should stay <laughs> I expect this is a lot more money but it's quite luxurious as you can see so here's the beach at the end of this hotel it's got a private beach you've got your sunbeds and then a multi-tiered pool so I don't know whether you can see that <laughs> yeah so one two three tiers Nice. And look at these glass built canoe boat type things. Buddy cap. So this is good because you can see the shark just before it comes to eat you. Beach. Pool. Yeah. Stay here. Do yourself a favour. Stay here. The other accommodations on the island are quite basic, I think you could say. Oh, let me see if I can. Yeah, look, here's one being clean. Sweaty cup, can I lick? Hey. Yeah, okay. So you got sofa, I'll just widen it out. Roll top bath. Yeah, that's a much nicer one. Cock my cup. Oh, look, David's on the soft drinks and Rose is on the beer. What a surprise. It's my holiday. Yeah. Ginger ale for David, Chang beer for Rose. Cheers. So obviously we can't actually make it all the way home without Rose buying some street food. So this is Isan food. Looks like some very, very cooked fish. Aloy Mai. And then a big sometimes being made over here. The world's biggest somtam bowl. My eyes are already filling up with chili. So this is just like a traditional Thai kitchen on the side of the road, complete with dog. And now I have to go and stand outside again because there's too much chili in the air and it's affecting my eyes. <laughs> I say when we booking this room you can see in the balcony is amazing senses amazing sunset <laughs> <laughs>